Good morning, my name is Tim Roden. I'm the president of Eastern Air Balance Corporation. Uh, we've been in business for 52 years performing testing and balancing. In addition to that, one of the services we offer is duct leakage testing. We're here today to demonstrate the duct leak test procedure. So the duct leak testing we're going to be performing today is in accordance with the uh, requirements and procedures in the SMACNA duct leak test manual. The first step in the process is to determine the allowable leakage for the duct that's to be tested. The process for doing that is to have a sketch of the system to be tested and identify each of the duct sections. By doing that, we perform a calculation to determine the actual square footage of surface area that's uh, exposed to each test. Then using the SMACNA manual, we determine the seal class and leak class for the duct. In this case, we're testing a duct to two inches of pressure, so we'll be a, uh, testing with a seal class C and a leakage class 16. The manual then provides information at different test pressures showing the allowable leakage. For our purposes, a two inch test pressure at a leakage class 16 allows 25 of CFM of leakage for every equivalent 100 square feet of surface area of ducts. So this is a duct leak test rig that consists of a blower and a test tube that has a calibrated certified orifice plate in it. First step in the process will be to energize the fan, open the blast gate the fan until we get the required uh, static pressure in the system to be tested, which in this case will be two inches. Once we achieve that, we'll measure the differential pressure across the orifice plate and calculate the actual leakage. So based on our calculations that we performed when we, before we started the test, the allowable leakage at two inches of pressure for this duct system is 25.2 CFM. With the uh, system pressurized to two inches, our actual measured differential pressure across the orifice was 0 0.085. If I take that and use the constant for the orifice, it shows that we have an actual leakage in this system of 13.4 CFM.